Hi everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. I wanted to show you guys all the stuff that I found at my yard sales on Friday. I'm going to do Saturday in a, a part two, even though I only went to one sale on Saturday. Um, I did buy a decent amount of stuff and it would make this video way too long if I included all that. Um, so fortunately there were a lot on Friday, which was good because I knew that I wasn't going to be able to go to any on Saturday except the one barn sale up the road, um, which killed me because I was taking my kids to my mom's house so we could meet her and go to the Renaissance Fair and it was like a 10 mile straight shot of highway that we were on and I don't know if it was a community thing or a town thing but there were yard sales like every hundred yards. It drove me crazy. Um, it was so so hard not to stop but um, let me jump in and start showing you the things that I did find on Friday. Um, the first sale I went to was a barn sale. I've been to it before. I found a really nice lampshade there last year. Uh, it was mercury glass. I paid three dollars and made 250 off of it. I was had my fingers crossed that I would find something just as good but I didn't I didn't really find anything good found a couple of mugs I got this one this is Odagiri hummingbird mug a lot of people collect hummingbirds only problem with it is is there's chips in here which I didn't realize until after I got it home I paid 25 cents for it maybe somebody will buy it as a display piece who knows um, this one I bought mainly because it was big, you know, as f <laughs> when it comes to mugs, size matters. I mean, people like the really big ones, so <laughs> anyway, that's why I got this. This holds like uh, 24 ounces, I think, so don't know if that'll go or not, but like I said, for a quarter, you got to take a chance. Um, the other things I found there were... Uh, I got a brand new packet of embroidery floss. Um, if I don't sell it on its own, I have a couple of other things that I could bundle it with. This cost me 75 cents. I got this little vintage enamel dish for 25 cents. And it more than likely will go for um, $10, even though it's not signed. I thought maybe it was a Dansk Coben piece, but it's not, so see what happens with that. And it's getting to be that time of year. It is ugly Christmas sweater time. So yes, people do buy ugly Christmas sweaters. You, a lot of you probably already know that, but people have ugly Christmas sweater parties just like they have Halloween parties. I've never been to one but if you search ugly Christmas sweater on eBay <clears throat> thousands of things will come up. Um, <clears throat> sorry some of them are just normal ugly Christmas sweaters you know tacky gaudy and others are handmade things. I mean they will glue, people will glue tinsel and ornaments and all kinds of garbage to these things and people buy them. So these are only 50 cents a piece so I took a chance. They're not like you know really really ugly but we'll see. This one's got a teddy bear and bells and a wreath and presents and a tree and it's got this metallic thread running through it, so it's still pretty hideous. So I got that for 50 cents, and then I got another one, which is right here with these Scotty dogs on it, or Westies. And this also has metallic thread running through it. So these are scheduled to go up uh, tonight. The only bad thing was the tags were cut out of them, so I didn't know what size they were or what manufacturer, but I'm assuming they're like a large. They seem to be a large. Alright, so then I went to another sale. Um, 
another barn sale and it said antiques so I was excited about that and they did have some decent stuff but the Russian had gotten there before me um, the Russian is this blonde Russian woman who goes to a lot of sales and she's a total con artist she really is um, and you have to watch your back because if you pick up something and you're looking at it and you're considering it and you put it down she will snatch it right out from under you um, which she did with one item but it was okay because it really wasn't worth anything but these are the things that I found um, in spite of the Russian being there I got three little tiki figurines um, I listed these all together. This is a is one from um, Coco Joe's in um, Hawaii, and it's kind of small. M most of them are a little bit taller, so that's why I put these two guys with it. I don't know what these things are. They have holes in the side, so I'm assuming that they at one time had a piece of wire or rope or something on them so I don't know if they're ornaments or you can use them as bud vases, shot glasses, uh, I don't know. Anyway, they're nothing special, they're marked, uh, marked made in China. All those together cost me a buck. Then I also got this for a dollar. This, I can't find out any information about this. It says A to Zoo National Horse Show. This was something that went on at some point out in Arizona. Uh, if anybody knows anything, let me know. But on the back here it says Blue Ribbon Awards and then it was made by um, Onita. So, uh, and it looks like it's inlaid with, this looks like copper but I'm not sure. So sometimes awards and trophies can go um, for decent money on eBay. So for a buck I picked it up, took a chance. I figured it might, um, it might appeal to silver plate collectors or people that like zebras or people that collect trophies. I don't know. Okay, next on the list from that same sale was this piece, which I really like. This is a vintage uh, paper Halloween mask that was put out by Coca-Cola and it was die cut and I guess you, you know, you punched it out of the packaging and apparently at one time there were four that you could collect. There was a clown, a witch, and then two others which um, are missing. But I have the witch. Uh, the eyes are punched out but the two holes on the sides where you put the string are not punched out. It's in pretty good shape for its age. A um, couple creases here and there. But I liked that it's a cross collectible. It's going to appeal to Coca-Cola collectors, um, paper collectors, vintage Halloween collectors. So that just went up last night, so I'm curious to see what that'll go for. Got a vintage Ms. Pac-Man electronic handheld game. It's um, only from 2001. I don't really know what this will do, if anything, but it does work. Um, oh, also got at that um, antique barn sale. I got this little vintage Santa ornament with the sleigh and the little bottle brush, brush tree. This is for me because I love vintage Christmas stuff. And my son and my husband hate it. <laughs> so that's even more reason why me and my little one go out and try and find it all the time just to bug them. So that was my big purchase of the weekend. Uh, let's see. Oh, I also found this at the antique barn sale. These are some vintage... Um, foil milk bottle caps. They're all from the same dairy, Bush Dairy in um, Flemington, which is my town. So um, there's 33 of them in here. They're all in excellent, excellent condition. There's a couple um, or four chipboard ones in here also. And they're going to be going up later tonight. I paid 50 cents for those. And I paid a dollar for the witch mask, a dollar for the zebra plate, 25 cents for the video game. Sorry, I don't know if I told you guys all that or not. Went to a community sale um, in a little townhouse community. Again, didn't have much luck, but I did find two of these 
Burpee 125th anniversary coffee mugs. Really nice, bright um, colors on it, flowers, vegetables, so I'm sure those will go eventually. And also at that community sale, I found this cute little baby reindeer sweater. Was it zero to three months, three to six months? And if I can't sell this on eBay, I can sell it at our kids' consignment sale. That's uh, the middle of next month. That cost me a dollar. Uh, found a few decent things at a sale. She had a lot of antiques, but I hate when they don't have prices on anything. She had no prices on stuff, and I made a pile, and then she started pointing at some of the antique things and going, oh, well, that's $50, and that's $25, and that's this, and that's that. I'm like, lady, you would save us all so much time if you would just put prices on stuff. Then I wouldn't even bother picking half this stuff up. But she didn't do that. But I did manage to find a few things from there. This, I know it's very hard to read, but it says Sack. I think it says Sack and Sons or Sack Sons. Yeah, Sack Sons um, soda bottle from Jersey City, New Jersey. And I can't find out any information about this. I don't know if that's good or bad. I'm going to try and clean it a little bit before I list it. And we'll see how it goes. That was a dollar. These two things were also a dollar. I got an M&M candy jar with the red M&M. And this is um, dimensional. He kind of pops out from the background. And... You guys know how I like to buy perfume. This was an old bottle of Evening in Paris Cologne. This is selling pretty well on eBay. Most of the bottles are like a cobalt blue color, and this is one of the only clear ones that I um, could find online. So fingers crossed. I got two people watching this so far, and I think it went up last night. It smells horrible. I mean, the perfume has to turn at some point, but people still buy it. I did have one person say they were going to return um, a bottle of Beautiful that I sold by Estee Lauder. I sold it for $56, and they said they wanted to return it because it turned, but they never did. So, I was willing to take it back, but they didn't send it back. So, I kept my $56. Bucks. Uh, oh, also got a Chilton book at that same sale. Uh, Guide to Small Engine Repair from 1983. The book is in really, really nice shape, really clean. That cost me a buck. Uh, Chilton books usually always sell at some point. And got two more needlework kits. This one is a needlepoint one. Figured um, it was great to put up now because of all the fall leaves and everything. And people love birds. So this one was $2.50. And so is this one. These are both from the mid to late 80s. I think this is 86. This is 87. I have three or four people watching this one and already have an initial bid of $19.99. And I have four people watching this one. And they went up two nights ago. So I should make a decent profit on those. Found a couple calculators. I got a TI-83 Plus for $5, which I guess should make about 30, 40 bucks, maybe. And then a TI-89, which works. I have to clean the battery compartment out just a little bit. Um, it's a little crusty right down here. But other than that, it's in great shape. And this one should make me about 50 bucks. So I paid 10 total, so I should make a good profit on those. And while I was leaving that, when I was leaving that sale, I saw an albino squirrel run across the road. He was so cool. I've never seen an albino squirrel. Oh, he was just so white. He stuck out like a sore thumb. Cutest thing ever. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, oh, I found this at that community sale. <clears throat> this is a lenticular Nintendo 64 watch. Obviously when you turn it that that way it has the logo, you turn it this way it has Mario's face. The 
strap is embossed with Nintendo 64. It's genuine leather. Uh, I do. Um, this does need a battery. So I did tell everyone the listing that this needs a battery. And I started this at 40 just because I can't find many others up online. I think I saw one other one. And I don't know what they had as their price on it. But I think this was a promotional item you can only get if you sent away for it or you went somewhere and got it. So I don't think there's that many of them floating around. And finally, I went to a house sale. My God, it looked like an episode of, of Hoarders. I went in the house and I walked right back out. Uh, they were, I don't know if they were moving or they were just slobs or what. You couldn't even tell what was for sale inside the house. It was such a disaster. But I guess they had friends of theirs that they invited to come over and also sell things outside. And so I bought a few things from them. I got this I Love Scotland mug with the little Westy or Scotty dog on it. A little banner inside. And this is um, from Scotland. They said their friends brought it back for them. Then I got a whole bunch of flatware. And there's like four different patterns in here. The main reason I bought it was because of this pattern. This is a, a Hankel's pattern. And um, you guys probably heard of you know, Hankel's knives. They make excellent knives. And I didn't realize they made flatware. So there's some of that in there. And the rest of it is, um, I think it's, is it Onita? Oh no, it's Farberware. There's two more different patterns of Farberware. These spoons are, what are these? Heritage Mint. And then I got four other, I think, Farberware steak knives. Uh, I paid $12 for this whole box, which I didn't think was bad. So I'll definitely make a profit. I don't know how much. Not as much as I made on that other set of silverware I bought, but I'll still make a profit. And the very last thing I bought was this set of Hankel's knives. I bought the whole set for 20 bucks, which, you know, was a good price, but unfortunately some of the knives, and I realized this before I bought it, some of the knives um, are not very well taken care of, like this one. I mean, this just hurts my heart to see this. I'm the kind of person I will buy used almost anything. Um, you know, I'll buy things on sale. I don't need top of the line stuff. But when it comes to knives, I am a total knife snob and a sheet snob. Um, those are two of the things that I really am particular about. My first husband who passed away, he was a chef. So he taught me all about knives and how to take care of them. And when I see people abuse them, it just makes me sad. These were probably um, thrown in the dishwasher, which is a big, big, big no-no when it comes to good knives. And as you can see, I don't know if it's hard to see here, but there's a crack here in the handle. Some of the handles are cracked. So I don't know how well I'll do on them. This is a gorgeous bread knife. I might keep this for myself because my bread knife is, is huge, but I busted the end of the handle off of it. Uh, so 20 bucks was a good deal for that. I'll definitely make a profit in some way, shape, or form from these. Um, and then the other ones I'll have to probably get rid of. So that is it for me today. Like I said, oh my God, 19 minutes. Holy cow. All right, I will be back probably tomorrow with my video to show you guys all the stuff that I got from the barn sale. So thanks for watching and listening to me babble on and on. And I'll talk to you later. Have a great week. Bye.